नमस्कार एंड गुड इवनिंग टू दर्स ऑफ पंडित रविशंकर म्यूजिक फाउंडेशन टूडे इट इज अ वेरी ऑस्पिशियस डे गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरु नम माय प्रणाम टू ऑल द गुरुज ऑफ द इंडियन क्लासिकल म्यूजिक ऑन द वेरी ऑस्पिशियस डे ऑफ गुरु पूर्णिमा टूडे ऑल्सो वी लॉस्ट अ लेजेंडरी गुरु dance legendary dancer and a member of our senior most member of our family shrimati amla shankar at the age of 102 years may her soul rest in peace on the auspicious occasion on guru purnima today we have with us one of the famous disciples and artist of our country श्री संजीव शंकर अश्विनी शंकर एंड आनंद शंकर ऑल द ऑल ऑफ द डिसाइपल्स ऑफ पंडित रविशंकर जी सो ऑन द स्पेशल एपिसोड ऑफ गुरु पूर्णिमा स्पेशल आई इनवाइट ऑल ऑफ देम टू अवर शो नमस्कार नवरुण भाई नमस्कार नमस्कार संजीव जी अश्विनी जी आनंद भाई होप ऑल यू आर फाइन और फिर से जो है सभी श्रोताओं को गुरु पूर्णिमा की बहुत बहुत बधाइया और शुभकामनाएं आपको भी हम लोग की तरफ से पंडित रविशंकर म्यूजिक फाउंडेशन की तरफ से आपको अश्वनी भाई को आनंद भाई तीनों को बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं और मुझे बहुत खुशी हो रही है और श्रोताओं को भी खुशी हो रही है आप जैसे काबिल शिष्यों को देख करके जो लेजेंडरी गुरु पंडित रविशंकर जी के शिष्य है अश्वनी जी लेट स्टार्ट विथ यू जी अबाउट योर म्यूजिकल बैकग्राउंड बिकॉज यू हैविंग सच अ लवली जर्नी एज फार एज चेनाई इज कंसर्न विथ यू एंड संजीव भाई हु वॉज योर फर्स्ट गुरु इन योर लाइफ एंड वॉट एज यू स्टार्टेड लर्निंग शहनाई और एनी अदर इंस्ट्रूमेंट विच यू स्टार्टेड द इनिशियल स्टेज ऑफ योर लाइफ family of uh, flute and chennai yeah there uh, and i have played for more than 350 years my forefather they were all uh, chennai players yeah and uh, i had my initial training at the age of i started at uh, at the age of 6 years and mm. uh, i had vocal lesson first from my grandfather pandit anand lal ji because as you know that chennai that means the uh, style of chennai playing is vocal so you have to learn vocal first and then you go to chennai and so we in, in the in the initials we here we both learn chennai first uh, vocal first and uh, i was interested in, uh, more in playing uh, slide guitar as the okay. my idea was He took. A, he was playing sitar. I think for almost he was four. He was four years in uh, in this sitar, and we were more into sitar and guitar, and we wanted to pursue our music in in, in sitar and guitar only. But uh, Guruji, Guruji suggested that you have a long lineage of Shahnai. Your forefather they are playing Shahnai, and it's it's a, such a rare instrument that. nowadays so he suggested that you should continue with the shanai only and you should pursue the lineage which has been coming for generations and generation so it was guru ji idea and it was his blessing that we received and so you can see that we are now playing shanai and pursuing our family tradition now so nice to hear from you sanjeev bhai you started at what age and was with the instrument shanai or something else <clears throat> no initially i also uh, started with uh, vocal lessons first but uh, from the very beginning i was so interested in sitar that i started learning sitar for almost 3 years i was practicing and then one fine day when i saw guru ji and when he suggested that shahna is not your journey you should concentrate on shahna more so that's how it all began 
and uh, I think I was the same age, about six, six or six, six, I think, five or six, because vocalists were like started when we were almost three, uh, almost four or five, I, I think. Like uh, yeah, more four. So we were four-ish, and then, then we. Like it's also it's not about the vocal lessons, but about also the training of the ears, because then you uh, understand what uh, what sort of uh, music is good and what you can how you can express yourself more, because if you can sing well, you can play well, and uh, you must have heard Guruji on several occasions that the way he used to sing was the way he used to play. Yeah. In his uh, lesson, he used to sing also, and then he should uh, he asked us to play that in the same manner. Like, so it was more of a vocal style also. Guruji used to teach us because we, when we were playing piano, he, he concentrated more on teaching us the vocal style of improvising music. Okay. Coming to Anand Bhai, why you opted to tabla than Chennai? It's a very interesting question. <laughs> yeah, it is so. Uh, uh, initially, I also started with a flute, okay. but I don't know how I come to the to tabla. Actually, the one time that I remember that some of the tabla players come to practice along with yeah. my father and grandfathers. Yeah. And one time, and he, one time he gone somewhere, and this tabla was placed there only. So I came there and just started banging there. And that day and now, till now, I'm playing the tabla. Still banging the tabla. <laughs> still banging the tabla. <laughs> you got the initial, some training from some guru on tabla or you started just playing? I start, um, I, my guru is a, a, I teach, learning the tabla from uh, my guru Pandit Anubhoji. Okay, the disciple of Pandit Shamal Bhuji. So I also got the chance of learning tabla from the other group Pandit Shamal Bhuji also. Okay, so now it is a you can say a duet with the co artist tabla, a whole family package is there for the country to listen, right? Yeah, yeah. Sanjeev Bhai, when you met the legendary Pandit Ravi Shankarji, you and uh, Ashwini Bhai both. In which year and what was that moment where you met? You mean the first time or uh, when we started learning from him? Mm -hmm. Because the first time we met Guruji was when we were quite young. We were yeah. about uh, eight or nine, I think. And uh, we used to go to Guruji's uh, house in Godi Colony, Godi Street. And uh, we used to just sit there and Guruji used to teach uh, all his disciples, all our senior guru bhais. And uh, they, and those classes were such intense classes. And I used to just sit there sometime and just listen and actually I used to sit there. And so that's how we, our first interaction with Guruji started. But it was uh, during uh, 2003 that uh, 2003, I think. Yeah. Maybe a year before that, I think. Uh, it was uh, 2002 or 2003 that we actually got a call from Guruji that uh, he wanted to come, he wanted to listen to me and Ashwini. Yeah. And it came like a tsunami for us. That, <laughs> that wasn't the news. It was a tsunami for us because, like, we were not prepared to sit in front of him and play. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but the, the thing is, like, it doesn't matter how much you practice and how much you know about music. To sit in front of a person like Guruji and try to give your best is something very foolish that uh, artists can think that we will play really good in front of him. So that is that was out of question. But like, we were actually thinking of playing something which he appreciates and thinks in a way that, okay, these boys have some kind of caliber and this, their vessel is still empty. 
So what? It, so we wanted that knowledge from him, so that our vessel could, could be filled with the knowledge that he imparts with us on us. And uh, so for almost a week, we practiced for almost 12 hours a day, 10 hours, 12 hours a day. And then finally came the day when we went to the center and prayed for Guruji. So he asked us to be there at 9 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Sharp 8.45, we were there. And at sharp 9 o'clock, Guruji came to the room. To the uh, music room. So the first thing he had asked was like, "Are you guys prepared?" <laughs> <laughs> and we had no answer. We had no answer at all. He said, "Okay." So he we talked for a, about half an hour or so. So he made us really feel like home, and he really calmed our like soul in a way that. We were not thinking about music anymore, but we were more thinking about what he was saying. And then in the in conversation somewhere in between, he says, okay, let's get down to business, play something. So we were practicing Rag uh, Shuddha Saran for almost a, for, for a week. So we played that and uh, Guruji liked it. And we played for almost three hours. And for that three hours, he was just sitting like this. Mm. <laughs> without moving a single muscle. And uh, after three hours, he was like, seems like you belong to HMV Gharana. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, what Guruji? No, it looks like you guys listen a lot. And yeah, we could listen to his music like anything, maybe five hours a day or ten hours a day. And we used to like uh, listen to those cassettes so much that after a while they used to go bad. And we used to go to the market and buy another one, the same cassette but a new one. So then he said, okay. What are you going to do tomorrow? Nothing, Guruji. Okay, then come at nine. Mm -hmm. And that that started the whole journey with him. And for almost three months, we were going at nine o'clock to get lessons from him. And from nine o'clock till one thirty, one thirty, sometimes two o'clock, depending on on his mood. So he he was teaching us. He was so thankful and. We used to come back to the house, and after eating a little bit, we used to practice of the lessons that we had got from Guruji. And then, uh, after like, when the evening is over, and we used to have our dinner, and then uh, next morning when we used to go there, we used to we, we tried to be prepared for just in case if he asks. Did you practice? Like, I won't listen to it. So, yeah, and we are so thankful to God and so thankful to Guruji also that he was so open and so kind in giving us the direction towards something which was so new to us, so pure to us. Yeah. And now I think. The way we play has a has so much so much of different style that we play on Shanghai now because mostly Shanghai is like is about uh, vocal music but now we play more bean garden and uh, the I think if I'm not wrong uh, people can relate to uh, my ear when they listen to us yeah when you got the opportunity to share the stage with Pandiji. You know, uh, we had such a long association. My family, our family had such a long association with Guruji. Yeah. Started from my grandfather to uh, father. Pandit He went, he went mm -hmm. with Guruji uh, to the first uh, festival of India. 
1974. Yeah. He was a part of that festival. And later, my father, uh, he, he became disciple of uh, Guruji and then we, then we, so with Guruji only we have like three generations of connection, yeah. musical. So that is something which is very unique, like not many people can claim that, yeah. that we have like three generations of musical connection. And it was Guruji only who uh, suggested my grandfather to come from uh, Jalandhar to Delhi. And join National Orchestra. Uh, and join National Orchestra here in Delhi. Uh, so it was Guruji, it was Guruji uh, went to Jalandhar and he somehow he was listening to uh, Shanghai and he thought how could a uh, Punjabi fellow is playing such a good uh, uh, Shanghai, Banaras, Banarasi Shanghai and mm -hmm. when he met my uh, grandfather, so he asked him uh, where, uh, where do you belong to, so he, he, he told him that I uh, am from Aranasi so Guruji suggested my grandfather that I'm, uh, I'm constituting a, a uh, what 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 and he suggested that my grandfather that you should come to Delhi and be a part of it. Uh, and be a part of it. So, so when uh, when Sanjeev so Bhai and Ashwini yeah. Bhai got the opportunity to accompany with Panditji for the first time in a stage performance oh uh, us yeah us or you sanjeev bhai and ashwini bhai individually you can say uh, so the first time it was in america actually uh, mm -hmm. so the first concert was i think espinido if i'm not wrong so first concert was in espinido in the uh, it was it's very near to the city where Guruji used to live, where he, he, he had his house and Sinitas. So, like, it's the next city after uh, Encinitas. So, so there was, it was the first concert, if I'm not wrong. If Guruji was there, he would have been very furious because I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, it, for since 2005, like, we must have played, like, I don't know how many concerts, how many concerts and we were with Guruji, even if not playing Chennai, like, just sitting with Guruji on stage, playing Tanpura or listening. So it's endless number of concerts for us. Endless, like, it's a portion of music that remains with us which belongs to Guruji. So now what we are going to hear from you both today on the auspicious day of Guru Purnima. So the first uh, piece that we are going to play, a short, the whole thing will be very short. We'll be playing two pieces. So first okay, okay. we will play uh, Jogeshwari, uh, mm -hmm. Which is one of Guruji's favorite tracks. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the composition is also his. So we will try to play that. I hope we are we are able to do that. And you enjoy. Okay. It. All the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.